to show you how to draw a llama. So grab a pencil and an eraser and any kind of paper and let's jump right in. Okay, let's get started drawing a llama. So first we're gonna start with a rectangle body. And I'm going to press pretty hard so you can see. And I'm doing, can you see how I'm doing these sort of squiggly lines? Because llamas kind of have lots of wool. So we want it to look like that. Okay, so we have our rectangle. And now we're going to do the head part up here. So we're going to start down here. Now, if you find it easier just to draw the lines first and then make the wiggly leaf, that's fine. Okay, I really like how llamas sort of stand regal. So, I want to kind of angle it up like this. Okay. And once you get your neck long as you want it. I kind of do my whole finger. You might want to do more. It's up to you. Um, so now we're going to bring these two are even and we're going to make a C. Okay. And then we're just going to fix this part like that. And then I'm going to make them all kind of wavy lines. And then their face we're just gonna do I kind of feel like this looks like a sideways ice cream cone if I had drawn a line there just like that and then I'm gonna make my llama with his eyes closed I kind of feel like llamas have a bit of attitude so this one has his eyes closed <laughs> love it okay then we're gonna make some ears so I've got these pointy ears, so one ear is in front, so then we erase this part, and one ear is on the other side. Great, you can give him a little smile too, or not. <laughs> okay, we're going to erase this part here, so then it looks like it's attached to the body, and then this part of the body, we're just going to cut off as well. So it's a little bit more rounded. I should have told you in the beginning not to press too hard so you can erase easily. I'm drawing on uh, just in my sketchbook. This paper is really nice to draw. Okay, so now we're going to do the legs. Actually, let's add the poofy tail first. They have these cute little poofy tails. Okay, now the legs are the hardest part, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of picture. So this, picture this sort of round. So this leg's gonna come like this. And they kind of have, it's surprising, they have these thin little legs. <laughs> do like a little hoof okay and then you can make that look like it's poofy so that legs in front so we're gonna take this away and then this leg is in behind so you keep the body there and because of that leg is behind we'll just put it a little shorter so it looks like it's behind I'm even gonna do that so we know it's behind give it a little shading I feel like these legs need to be a little longer just to hold the body up. <laughs> you don't want it to look like the legs aren't able to hold the body up because they're too short. Okay, now this other part, we're going to do this one in front. Okay, and they've got little hoofs. And then this one's gonna be, so this one's in front, so we erase this part. And then this one's gonna come in behind. Yeah, and be a little shorter. 
There we go. I feel like there, that's better. Like that. Make kind of little hoofs. Okay, so let's look at our llama so far. Awesome. Now, llamas live in South America and they carry lots of things on their back. And I've heard that they can carry up to 70 pounds, which is amazing. Um, I've also heard that if it's too heavy, they will not move. <laughs> They're kind of stubborn animals. So I'm drawing a blanket on the llama. And then you can do your blanket any way you want. This is where you can add your own creativity. I'm going to do like little tassels. I'm going to do like a fringe. So have fun with what you add to your llama. And because llamas carry lots of things on their back, I thought it would be fun. You could even write a story about what your llama is carrying. My daughter did a story about her llama carrying pizza to everybody. So she had layers and layers of food on top of her llama. <laughs> I'm going to do like a suitcase with little buckles. I'm going to do like a little yoga mat <laughs> or a little like sleeping mat. I'm going to put that on mine. And maybe a hat. Why not? Fun little hat. Do like a heart and then like that. Maybe a vase of flowers because I like flowers. I know this would be very hard for them not to knock over, but I think that's kind of fun to draw things that maybe they wouldn't be carrying, but you think would be fun if they could. <laughs> I got some flowers, I got a hat, and let's put a feather in the hat. Why not? So fun. Okay, now I'm going to do some straps to hold on to everything. <laughs> like that. There we go. Now it looks like it's carrying all these cool things. You can do like designs in your blanket. You can do like zigzag patterns. You can do like polka dots. You can do triangles. I'm going to do a little swirl because I always put swirls in my art. <laughs> okay, now llamas, um, they also need like straps, so they often decorate them with these like tasseled sort of straps. So I'm just going to picture that they've sort of wound these string like tassels to decorate them. And then I'll do one across like this and I'll make it thicker because this is sort of like the harness with the rope on it that they use to guide the llamas. Oh, we have such a character here. I love it. I'm going to put like a little tassel. They often put tassels on their ears. I don't know how they tolerate that, but it looks cool. There we go. There's my llama. He has so much character. Love, love, love. So now you can imagine if you colored your llama in with markers or paint, um, you can get really creative with it. I'm also going to do like a little bit of a background so I'm drawing a horizon line so kind of like the path that he's walking on and then I'm gonna you can use a ruler for this if you want it, it should be straight probably <laughs> and then maybe I'll do some little mountains in the background so in South America they have beautiful scenery there I'll just do kind of a mountain there and I'll do one over here they're far in the distance like that yeah and you can add anything into your drawing have fun with it 
Okay, enjoy, enjoy. Bye.